So maybe we start by saying the title of, of this project. The, the project is named Bio2 or BioSquare, and it's uh, critical heritage varieties and evolutionary populations under organic farming as an opportunity for mountain farms. This project is uh, funded by Measure 16.1.1 of the Rural Development Program of uh, Emilia Romagna region and it's an AEP Agri Operational Group uh, project, which means that this project gathers together uh, many partners, 10 partners, and that five of them are actually farmers, which is very good because the AEP Agri aim now is to, uh, to bring innovation into farms by doing actually, by implementing and experimenting innovation on farms. This project is about cultivating biodiversity at five uh, organic farms in the Emilia-Romagna region in northern Italy. And uh, why, how do we grow biodiversity? We grow here 12 uh, um, varieties of uh, heritage uh, bread wheat, then Aincor, Emmer and Spelt, and eight varieties of durum wheat. We grow them uh, in uh, purity, but also we grow four evolutionary populations, three of bread wheat and one of made of uh, many varieties of durum wheat. We grow them in small plots and big plots in the farms, and we do a lot of measurements, uh, some uh, uh, yield measurements, uh, height, uh, test weight, many agronomic measurements, and then we do all the composition analysis, kernel composition analysis. We do mycotoxins uh, on the kernels, and uh, we, we do uh, an, uh, in vitro and uh, in vivo studies to, to see how, how these breads made with these varieties and with the evolutionary population are actually uh, digested. So we, we aim at measuring the glycemic index uh, of these breads. Uh, what else? The, the final aim is to to train the farmers in growing these, uh, these heritage varieties and evolutionary population. Uh, because we think that, especially for mountain areas or, or um, low, um, let's say, areas uh, that are marginal, considered marginal, these materials can be um, competitive with the modern wheat and also bring back competitiveness to the farmers.